Businesses need money to get started. They need to be able to buy equipment. They need to be able to buy raw materials and obtain premises. In addition to this, if the owner wants to expand or buy new machinery or delivery vehicles, extra money is needed over and above from what it sells from its goods and services. Expansion means larger premises, more equipment and more employees. Throughout the life of a business, there will almost certainly be times when money has to be raised from outside the business. In this video, we'll look at bank loans and trade credit as a source of external finance. Bank loans are an external source of finance, which means it has come from outside the business. Bank loans can usually be arranged if the business is seeking the loan has good credit and a satisfactory financial history. In the case of taking out a bank loan, the financial institution would advance the business a specific figure and the amount borrowed must be repaid over a clearly stated period of time and must be paid back in regular installments. The bank will charge interest on the loan. Bank loans are regarded as a long-term source of finance and are very commonly used by businesses. So let's take a look at advantages of bank loans. So now once the loan has been approved by the bank and the necessary documentation has been signed, the businesses guarantee the money for the duration of the loan. And once approved, loans can be arranged pretty quickly. This will help give the business certainty and confidence to be able to expand or buy the necessary equipment required or whatever else the business wanted to do with the loan. The business also has full control they only have to pay back the loan and the interest. They won't have to give up any shares in the business or any profits or anything. They only pay back the loan and the interest. And finally, interest payments for loans tend to be a lot lower than that of overdrafts, which is a short term source of finance. However, there are disadvantages of bank loans. Firstly, there's a lack of flexibility. The business would have agreed from the onset how long they have to pay back the loan, which is known as a term, and also how much they need to repay and the level of interest. There's no flexibility with this, especially in comparison to that of an overdraft, which is quite a flexible source of finance. Another disadvantage is that if the business fails to repay, then they could lose their assets. This is particularly focused on those businesses that have unlimited liability. So do check out my video on limited liability, which goes into more detail. I'll put the link in the description box below. Let's take a look at trade credit now. Trade credit allows a business to have stock before paying for it, as they will pay at a later date. It's a short term source of finance. The agreement of when to pay the supplier is typically between 30 or 90 days. It's where a business negotiates a delay between receiving raw materials or stock and paying for them. The payment is usually made once the business has converted the raw materials and stock into products and sells them to its own customers. It's the simplest form of external financing. It is common for businesses to receive raw materials before paying for them. And it's an interest free way of raising finance. Trade credit is a good way of boosting day to day finance. Let's take a look at some of the advantages of trade credit. It's a simple and low cost source of finance and there typically aren't any additional costs either. It's a significant source of finance for businesses as they can have the raw materials or goods and services available to be sold to potential customers. It is common practice for many businesses to use trade credit and this is allowed in most businesses. There's also a degree of flexibility with trade credit. If the business agrees to pay for supplies in 30 days, let's say, they can also discuss with the supplier whether they would accept 60 days. In addition to this flexibility, the business is also able to pay before the 30 days or the 60 days. So the disadvantages of trade credit 
relate to the business not paying the supplier on time. So the first disadvantage is that additional charges might be incurred if the business does not pay the supplier on time. It can also cause a credit risk because if the business takes too long to pay, there may also be charges that the supplier might attach and that also might affect their credit rating. Another disadvantage is that the supplier may not want to trade with the business again if they're not paid on time. So if they're not paid within the 30 or 60 or 90 day period, it can cause damage to the long term relationship between the business and the supplier. Thank you for watching this video. Do check out other videos in the Teacher T playlist as many might be of value to you. Good luck with your studies. Until next time.